Thank you for joining us for another Series NRX Accessory Tutorial video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to properly install and remove a motor operator into an Eaton Series NRX circuit breaker. Disclaimer: Before proceeding with the installation and or removal of any accessory, always de-energize the primary and secondary circuits. If you have a draw-out breaker, make sure it is levered out to the disconnect position. Finally, all circuit breakers should be switched to the off position and all mechanism springs should be discharged. Failure to follow any of these precautions could result in death, bodily injury, and property damage. The motor operator is an electric motor mounted internally to the circuit breaker and is used to charge the closing spring for remote or local operation. To install the motor operator, you will need the following tools and parts. One number six 2.78 millimeter Allen wrench, one number two Phillips head screwdriver, two captive mounting screws, one motor operator assembly, and one pair of needle nose pliers. In this section, we will demonstrate how to remove the front cover, install the motor operator, and reattach the front cover. For this demonstration, we will use a three-pole IEC 800 amp draw out circuit breaker. Before proceeding with the installation, you must remove the front cover of the circuit breaker. To do this, you must remove the four non-captive screws with the number two Phillips head screwdriver. If you have a four pole breaker, there are six screws to be removed. Make sure you save the screws for reinstallation. Once you've done this, pull down on the charging handle for easy removal of the cover from the breaker. Before you attach the motor operator to the breaker, examine the motor operator to verify that the arrowhead is in the proper position. To achieve this, rotate the arrowhead clockwise to the detent just past the hole. Once the arrowhead and the hole are aligned, push the two captive mounting screws through the holes in the motor operator until they are nearly flush with the mounting collars, like this. Align the hub key, that's the part just rotated, with the key on the camshaft, which is on the breaker and push. After you've aligned the two keys and mounted the motor operator, secure it in place by using the Allen wrench to screw the two captive mounting screws into the breaker mounting holes. If you properly aligned the motor key and the camshaft key and tightened the captive mounting screws, the motor operator should look like this when installation is complete. Notice that the secondary leads are extending upwards. Now it is time to make the appropriate secondary connections. To do so, match the number on the wires tag to the number inscribed on the top of the secondary mounting bracket. To simplify this process, release the secondary tray by pressing on the orange buttons on the back of the tray. Slide the tray until the back edge of the tray lines up with the numbers.
When inserting the leads, odd numbers are always on the bottom. After you've completed the installation, you must reattach the front cover of the circuit breaker. To do this, first pull down on the manual charging handle, then position the front cover on the breaker. Make sure that the cover fits inside the side sheet tabs. Once the front cover is properly positioned, secure it to the breaker with the four non-captive screws you removed earlier. Remember, if you have a four-pole breaker, there are six screws that need to be reinserted. In this section, we will demonstrate how to remove a motor operator from a series NRX circuit breaker. To begin, locate the motor's secondary connections. The secondary leads should be connected in positions 37, 38, 39, and 40. Remove the leads from the secondary mounting bracket with a pair of needle nose pliers by pinching the plastic tabs located on the connectors and pulling. Next, use an Allen wrench to unscrew the two captive mounting screws. and pull the motor operator out from the breaker. You have completed the removal of the motor operator. To finish, reattach the front cover. This completes the motor operator tutorial. For additional tutorials and information on Eaton's Series NRX circuit breaker, please visit us at eaton.com slash series NRX. For questions or further support, please contact your local Eaton sales representative.